Oh, he's almost dead. Something's hit him. Awesome. Liquid cooled power and mass storage, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hopefully, you guys are having an amazing day. I'm having a pretty decent day. It is midnight. Yet again and yet again, we are back on subsistence hardcore because we're a bunch of masochistic psychos that absolutely love pain and suffering. This is how I've decided to go ahead and kill wolves. I've decided to step on this thing, make them run away, then shoot them. It's actually working pretty well. However, at the same time, it doesn't work very well. Why? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Because you are not guaranteed uh, a cloth. Whoa, is that like lag spikes or something? I don't know. You're not guaranteed a cloth when it comes down to wolves. Plain and simple. There was an arrow over here, I think, but I don't really think I want to look for it because that would be a, po a, a pointless pain in the butt because I'm not going to find it because I'm colorblind. <sighs> okay, so that's how I've been killing wolves. It's been working out really well. I like it. It's kind of like the kill shack, but not really. So, yep, see, no cloth. That sucks. And we kind of need cloth right now. Anyway, off camera, for the last two days, I've been doing a lot of gathering. Now, you guys know when I say a lot of gathering on hardcore mode, that means hardly no gathering at all because you, you don't get very much stuff very often. So, let's go ahead and render that up. We'll go ahead and cook that up. We'll go ahead and cook that up. We'll go ahead and throw some wood in there. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I told you guys before, if I could find a way to add two spawns in here, because I didn't think it was fair we lost ours, that I was going to do that. I have done that, as you can see. It wasn't in the .ini files, it was actually in the save game, and I just edited the save game. Now, this is the, th the thinking that I had up to this point. I spent an entire day thinking about it, and I was like, okay. If we had died and I had done this, then that would be cheating in my opinion. But because all we did was move the bed and move our base, I didn't think it was cheating, okay? On top of that, Robert Moss um, sent me a message two videos ago saying the reason that you don't get a bed spawn every time you make a bed is it's kind of like the BCUs. Now, if you guys didn't know the BCUs back then, every time you made a BCU, you actually got a free lockpick and people realized, okay, well the lockpicks are expensive with these iron fragments. So let's just make a whole bunch of BCUs because they're cheaper and then we can get a free lockpick. Cold Games didn't like that. And he set it up to where your first BCU would give you a free lockpick and any of them after that would not. The bed is set up the same exact way. However, in my opinion, it's not quite the same thing. If you think about it, the bed is kind of like the BCU and your spawns are kind of like the lock pick, okay? However, the bed is actually a lot easier to make than the spawns are. Now, technically, if you've already got the power uh, storage, you can just wait for the storage to get up there, buy a spawn, boom, you're done. If you don't have the power, then what you need to do is you, every time that you want a bed spawn, you need to actually make the power storage. The power storage is only wooden planks, electrical components, and scrap metal. Now, why do I think that the bed is harder to make than the power storage? So technically, you'd have to actually make the power storage every time you wanted a new spawn, if I didn't mention that. But why do I think this is easier to make, or harder to, or the bed? Why do I think the bed is harder to make than the power storage is? Because the bed actually takes cloth and feathers. And those cloth and feathers are stuck to an animal's bum. And they run and they're hard to catch in hardcore. So it's actually harder to make the bed in this instance, whereas the BCU and the lock picks are harder to make, it's harder to make the lock picks. So I don't think it would be a big deal if every single time that you made a bed, you got a spawn, but I guess I can see where he's coming from and it really wouldn't be that hard to say, okay, well, let's put this in the game. If the player has spawns on his bed and he deletes the bed intentionally, then 
next time he makes a spawn next time he makes a bed he gets to keep those spawns it really wouldn't be hard to put that in there um you know if player has zero spawns and they make a bed then they get zero um then they get zero uh, uh spawns if the player doesn't delete their bed and the, the bed is destroyed then spawns are deleted it would only take about an hour maybe an hour and a half to do that kind of of scripting but I, like I said, I don't think it would really matter if, you know, the beds came with the free spawn every time they came in. Anyway, enough of that crap. We've got all of that dealt with now. I was having troubles with it in not the previous episode, but the one before that. And now I kind of understand the thinking of cold games and everything on it. So that's that whole thing. Anyway, off camera, I've done a lot, a lot of harvesting. And as you can see, we are going to put these things down today as well. First, what we need to do is I we are we are we I, I'm playing uh, I am playing the female character because let's face it I'm not a hentai but females are nicer to look at in games than men I'm just saying it's it's there uh, so let's get her a little bit clothed now I was thinking that we could jump to say medium weight shirts and a medium weight pants. Unfortunately, they both take cloth and feathers. We have the feathers to do it with, but we don't have the cloth. I've, uh, this one takes 10, 10 cloth just to make the shirt. This one takes six to make the pants and we've only got nine cloth. Um, so I think what we could probably do, which would be a little bit better, would be to do the lightweight stuff um, just so we can get both of them done. It might end up being a little bit better. I wish these kind of gave you an idea of the stats that they give when you make them and you put them on but they don't um, they should before you actually make them so let's just go ahead and do this we're gonna we're gonna do the light t-shirt and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the light pantyhose and that way we can get oh I need another cloth why am I missing a cloth I should have one more cloth where did I miss it from I have no idea. Anyway, we'll do the shirt. Let's go ahead and put the shirt. Oh, we didn't put the shirt on. Let's put the shirt on. I'm going to go get one more cloth and we're going to do the light pants as well. Uh, I swear I had one more cloth. Um, but before we do that, it's now time to put this stuff up. As you can see, I've made this stuff previously just so you guys wouldn't have to wait to watch me wait for power. Uh, but first, what we need to do is we need nails, and we need cordage, and we need uh, planks. So what I want to do first is... Uh, okay. Uh, the hunters have been attacking. Plain and simple. Uh, they attacked, and it hurted a lot. <laughs> um, basically, I was hiding behind these right here. Uh, the, it's really, really nice being out here. Why? Because when they come swimming, their shots from shotguns actually don't come out of the water they go directly into the water when they throw a grenade it lands in the water in front of them so when they're swimming it works amazing they hardly get any shots off at you however there is one hunter one or one hunter or two hunters that come around here every now and then and they stand up here and they they come on this foundation and they shoot me between the inventory and the wall and it sucks um, and they've got really good aim. So I was kind of cowering behind here hiding like a little crybaby. Uh, so what we're going to do is I need to put up a wall, period. I just want the protection. There's our wall. We now have protection. I'm going to take this and I'm going to hit end on this. And I'm going to move this out of the way. In fact, I probably should just delete it to be completely honest with you. We'll throw it right there for now. I'm wondering if we should also maybe block this off. Um, let's also make a foundation because I want to extend this out a little bit because we're gonna need a little bit of room to put this stuff up we might as well grab this stuff now as you can see I went ahead and got the plant bed I went ahead and did a power storage and I went ahead and did the small generator which I'm totally excited about and we're in the middle of a storm awesome if I had I'm very curious if I should try and kill him no he'll just run and then I'll have to chase him and that would suck. Unless he drops down into the water. He's dropping down into the water. Oh, he's almost dead. Something's hit him. Oh my gosh, I got him. Holy crap, Ola. I got him. I think... 
to be completely honest with you guys, we just got some antlers. And if we got antlers, that means we got a little bit of adhesive. And adhesive is actually one of the things for like solar panels as well as uh, the new turbines. Yes. But I don't know how much adhesive costs. Adhesive. Three. Okay. We're still going to need to kill another deer. Well, I was all excited for absolutely nothing. Anyway, we were doing... Let's see. We did that. Okay. So we, while I'm walking back, let's do another wooden wall. This time, we'll do a window so I can look out a little bit. I'm afraid that if I did a window on this first wall right there, that they would just shoot me through the stupid window. And they probably would, to be completely honest with you. All right. Let's go ahead and get this out. And we're going to put that there. All right, now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and grab this. Let's put this wall over here. We're just going to do as much upgrades as we possibly can. Like I said, I spent two days just trying to get a whole bunch of stuff so, you know, we could do some upgrade stuff. So let's go ahead and throw you right here. And then we're going to throw you right over here just for now and now that we've got that bad boy going up we should be able to throw in some fertilizer awesome fertilizers in there now I, I, i'm curious i'm very curious check this out can i just step in the water go like this give it some water press f and i'm because i'm in the water it'll press f and it'll fill it shift click f shift click and that'll fill that up that is awesome I absolutely love that. Oh, I need some more water for myself. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw this in here. Put a little bit more wood in there. Can we eat you? Yes, we can. Can we eat you? No, we cannot. But we can throw you in there. And we can throw you over there. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab... Let's split these. Let's fill this bad boy up. Boom, shakalaka. Okay, and then we're going to go... Oh, we just got some cloth. Okay, so we can make some pantyhose now. Uh, medium, light pants. Yes, there's our light pants. We got some light pants. We got some clothage, guys. Hell yes. And we're going to stick this right over here. And now... Okay, so now that we've got another... Now that we've got that... We'll have a thousand power that we could buy one more spawn. If you guys didn't know, every time you buy a spawn, your power cost to buy the next spawn goes up by 500. That's why I was talking about the power storage kind of acting like the, um, the lock pick when it came down to the BCU and the lock pick. Y you guys know what I'm talking about. That's why I was talking about the power storage, if you didn't realize that. I just want to throw that out there for you guys. Okay, now... There's something else I kind of want. Well, let's let's do this first. Let's grab you, you, you. I've got seeds. Check it out, guys. I have got tomato seeds. Now, I thought these were only findable in the lock boxes, but they're not. I found it in a regular medical box. I was really super surprised and very happy about it. I have a tater, too. And since we've got one... Now, let's just do this. Let's just extract this seed. Let's just plant this stuff. Uh, I definitely want to put both tomatoes in. I definitely want to put both carrots in. I definitely need to put onions in because we've only got one onion seed. I've also found some cot cotton plant seeds. Now, I was thinking about doing heavy-duty clothes, but these cost a lot. They cost three per, so that would cost 15 of the cotton, and we just don't have enough seeds yet for it. So let's go ahead and plant all of the seeds first for food, and then we'll start planting other stuff. I don't need to plant the medical plant seed yet. We'll just do one cotton for now. Good, we've got some plants going. I'm happy. Let's throw this in there. We eat you. Okay, we got some pantyhose. yippee ki -yay. Yes, we'll put you there. We'll put some shoes. Okay, so now we've got a little bit of protection. What is that? 1%, 2 and 1, 2 and 0, or 1 and 0. I can barely see it with that, with her uh, silhouette back there. Okay, so next thing I want to do is I want to look to see what else we can make. So, next, I would like to make a fridge, but we can't make the fridge because we're at 1,200 power on the fridge. And 200 mass. We don't have that. We need to make more mass storage, which I was not planning on doing. Uh, on top of that, that means we're also going to need to make more power storage as well. Now, 
we can start looking into the workbench but to get over 500 power and to get over 100 mass we need something to push us over that's why i made the jenny to help push us over the max mass which is 500 and i'm going to need to make where is it where is it where did it go it's hidden from me it's right mass fab we need to make the mass fabricator can we make it yes we can i need these and i need these so let's go ahead and start the mass fabby babby babby there we go okay there's no reason to start the mass fab because we're only at 100 so first we need to start the mass storage right okay so we need to get the mass storage going then we need these the power storage should I do the power storage first, or should I do the mass fabry first? Mm-hmm. I'm thinking maybe I should do the power first. No, we'll do the, the we'll, yeah, we'll do the, we'll do the mass fabby next. Okay, so now we can do this. Throw this down right here. We'll just throw that down right now. I know this is ugly. But this stuff is 10 times more important, in my opinion, than just getting the house completely covered. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm just going to delete this right here. We can get the items from it right now. Come on, baby. There we go. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Oh, 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 oh. We have one cloth. We have one bio, right? Does that mean we can make a health kit? I think so. Medical tonics. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So we need two medical tonics. We can make those. Then once we make that, we can make our first health kit. Yay! And we can pull this up here, too. This thing is worthless, in my opinion. It doesn't really do anything. Um, okay, so what else can we do? What else can we look at? We need to wait for power anyway. We need to wait for, ma wait for mass. Um, so we really can't do anything else. However, I've got an idea that I wanted to show you guys, and I want you to kind of tell me what you think of it. I'm going to craft another wood foundation. And I'm also going to craft another wooden plank so I can craft yet another wall. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this stuff done. We should be able to craft the health kit now. Okay, the health kit is on our way. Yay! A little bit of help is always a nice thing. Okay, so now that's done. Now we need one more of those, and then we need a wall. Okay, so we're gonna need... Okay, so are we running out of nails? No, we're good on nails. Can we eat that? No, we cannot. We're just waiting on this stuff to get crafted. And we're on our way with the wall. Okay, so I've got a little bit of an idea that I don't know if it'll work. Now, you remember in the last season, what we did with our mass and our power storage just to get out of the way because it's ugly and we don't want it taking up a lot of room i was thinking of doing the same thing we put these underneath the main house i was thinking of actually doing the same thing but under the house is water Ooh, yeah keep in mind there are liquid cooled computers in the world today so if you think this is cheaty it's not it's just liquid cooled mass and power okay if i can put these in the water under our base they would be protected because the hunters when they swim their their shots don't come out and their grenades don't come out and the only thing that really gets hurt is this stuff up here yeah see these are down to 410 470 these are the only things that, are, that really get hit so that's going to be awesome so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go like this extend this out a little bit no up forward backwards okay so you let me do it while i'm in the water that's cool let's let's no i don't eight eight okay then i'm going to come over here i'm going to come underneath and i'm going to try to put this in here and it did work okay so now that we've got this wall we can take this wall out maybe she keep it in it kind of looks cool i might just end up like putting walls all the way around the outside by the water i can't get out let me out thank you okay let's go ahead and just throw this one the right direction over here how are we looking on our mass and power we're up to 338 good okay so now let's see if this will work if i can put these in the water underneath the base that would be amazing amazing it does work yes awesome 
Liquid cooled power and mass storage, ladies and gentlemen. They're out of the way. They shouldn't really get damaged too much. I think I need to put another set of stairs going into the water because this is getting to be a pain in the butt trying to get out. Let's go ahead and throw this bad boy in there. I'm also very worried when it comes down to these episodes. I... You can't... This is... It's hard to get resources in hardcore. It really is. So I'm always afraid that they're going to be a little bit lacking when it comes down to like, you know, how much stuff we get done in the actual episode. All right. So they both work. That would suck if one worked and one didn't. But yeah. Okay. So they both work. There we go. Mass and power is now in the water. I am stoked about that. See, I just having such a hard time getting out of the water. How are we looking on power and mass? Okay, so we're up to 433. We still need to wait till the mass gets up. I think we're going to do the mass fabby next. And then I'm going to do another... Probably another mass or uh, power storage. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, so this is done. We can put that down there now. Is there anything else we can really do? What about the fridge? Would We would be able to do that next. Huh. Okay, so what I think I'm going to need is I think I'm going to need some more wood. I'm going to head out. Oh, man, I burnt that damn... I always have a problem with that. I always end up burning these things. How are we doing on this? Okay, so can we... All right, so I'm going to go out and get more wood. I'm going to tool around for a little bit. Maybe get some chickens and stuff like that. Wait till our mass and our, and our power get up, and we'll be right back. All right, let's see if our power is high enough and if our mass is high enough if it is it is i've already made the mass fabricator offline obviously or off camera whatever it's called uh do we have enough stuff no we do not have enough stuff let's go ahead and split half of that let's go ahead and split half of that we need to make another power storage come on what's the problem five i need more logs hold on i got more logs Wait, I might as well just grab all those, and I might as well grab all those, and I think I'm going to grab all of these, because there's other stuff that I actually want to do as well. Had a pretty good little outing there, rabbit, chicken, rabbit, chicken, did pretty good, I'd say. Lots of feathers, we've got the power storage on the way, let's go ahead and put you away, you, you, found some more, t uh, more tomato seeds, because America. And then, no, we need you back. And then, okay, so we need to put, let's see, you, 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 and we don't have any fat. We need to put that in there. Okay, so we're good to go. Oh, we also got some cloth. I may be using for that for something else later, or we could just do it right now. Shotgun, shotgun, yes, please. Uh, yeah. No, we need four cloth, and I only got three. Damn it. That's all right. That's okay. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and pull out these two thingamajiggers. We're going to put this down here. And then we're going to throw this just right here. Just to get it down. So now... Okay. And then up here, 200 and 1,000. So let's go ahead and throw... Are you guys done yet? No, you are not. Let's go ahead and throw you down here. So we got to get a little bit more... Okay, why can't I get in there? Thank you. This is so awesome. Underwater cooled. It's 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 futuristic. It's futuristic. I'm thinking of a movie that I can't actually remember the name of. Is it Aliens? I don't know. Where one guy has to climb into a into a a, a liquid cooled computer and he gets frozen and stuff. I think it is Aliens. Something like that. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, food. Oh, I didn't need it all. That's okay. Okay, so now that we've done that, what we can start looking at now is uh, workbenches. We can now we now have the mass and the power to do stuff like that. We have the capacity um, fridge. We now have the capacity to do that because we have fifteen hundred power uh, and two hundred. Yeah, we can definitely do the fridge next. And then we can also do animal housing, except for animal housing is going to take rope, which is sinew. Um, the solar panels, I realized just recently that I was saying in the last update video, which is our last video, that the wind turbines are cheaper than the solar panel. But now that you look at it, 
it's actually not true. The wind turbines are actually more expensive than the solar panel because it's it's pure sinew where the wind turbine has rope, which takes multiple sinew. These may take 25 electrical components, but these only take 20 and these only take four adhesive. So the solar panels actually are better than the wind turbines, plain and simple. They cost less, cost less and they work half of the day, every single day. These only work during storms or windstorms. Um, however, the nice thing about the wind turbines is they're only slightly more expensive than solar panels. And when you get a storm going, these things get up to 0.16 per, what is it, per second? Per second. So they can really start to cruise. I don't know why I just went off on that tangent. There's other stuff we have to do, and that's not one of them. So what I wanted to also do is I want to kind of... I want to block this off, so I think I'm going to do, da, 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 let's see, doorway. We are going to do a doorway. On top of that, I'm going to do a ceiling. I'm going to do two ceilings. Why? But you'll see in a minute. Just chill. I'm also going to do stairs. Okay. So let's see. One, and you need there, and then this, and out here. Oh, and I'm also going to do a wood foundation. And I think that might be really all that we can get into. So let's go ahead. I want to block you off right here. Now, I did a pretty good job making that pretty close, huh? I'm still trying to decide if I want to delete all these and then make all, you know, ceiling panels all the way across. I don't know. I kind of like it like this. It's nice and skinny. But knowing me, I'll fall off every now and then. On top of that, I wanted to put a ceiling right here. Now, you're probably thinking, wait a minute, what? Why are you putting a ceiling right here? Well... When storms come in, I want to kind of check out the fire underneath a ceiling to see how the shelter works when it comes to drying and I'm wet. I can just test it out right now. Am I wet? Yes, I am. Why am I drying underwater? Okay, so let's see if we can get out. Okay, we're getting out. We're drying. How much quicker is it when you're underneath the ceiling and you've got shelter? Is it actually like a shelter... No, it looks like it's actually about the same. Not really that big of a deal. It's about the same. So I think it's because I don't have a wall over here. Uh, okay, so what I also wanted to do is this. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. I need to put this here. And I want to move this back to where it was. So it's not in the way. And it doesn't look funny to me. So we're going to put that down there. I'm still thinking if I want to put another set of stairs down there so we can get up either e easier. But if I do that, then I can't really put a dock down there. Um, so I don't know for sure. Are you done yet? Yes, you are. Can I eat you? Yes, I can. Okay, so now I did another ceiling. Why did I do another ceiling? This is why I did another ceiling. We're going to extend it out. We're going to put this right over here. That's now sitting out there. And we're going to take these and we're going to put this right 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 there why because i'm gonna hit end and even though you've got stuff planted in here you can take and move these with the plants inside it we're gonna put it up here so up here it'll get full sunlight i don't have to worry about anything just kind of casting a shadow on it it'll get full rain when the rain is coming in the rain uh let's see can we do this okay that'll be good and let's just go ahead and put give it a little bit of water seeing it's getting 100 percent light so i know for sure that's getting really a lot of light and a lot of every everything it needs to really grow that stuff um the main thing is is this is kind of the way i wanted to build the house i, was, I told you guys in the last season if you watched that i wanted to do kind of a more modern looking house so what i was thinking about doing is making an extension on the roof where I could plant multiple planting plots up here I could put multiple planting plots up here and then maybe make like this side over here just a second story that's covered I haven't really decided I might just do it I don't know I don't know I'm not gonna go into I kind of want to go all the way over there and get that crate but look at that deer hmm I would like a deer anyway yeah so this is gonna be up there that works out really well I'm going to play with this a little bit and test this out a little bit. Uh, is there any more water? 
I'm gonna end up putting another stairs set of stairs down there. I know I will. I think I'll make a dock along here. And then I'll put another stair set of stairs on the side somewhere where I can just walk up. Um, okay, so is there any more nails and wood that we could do something with? There's one more. Can we make a door? Haha, <laughs> greatest, greatest invention in the world, the door. And it's going to be good for us because we can actually hide behind it when we get attacked. I'm surprised I haven't been attacked again. It's been two days. We're on day 15. I haven't really done anything out in the wilderness with you guys, but I figured we didn't really get a lot done in the last two episodes, to be honest with you. It seems like we did, but we didn't. So I figured, you know, we get a ton of technological advancements done in this episode. That way, you know, we can really focus. Yes, that'll be perfect. All right. We can really focus on some some other stuff in the next episode. It looks a lot smaller and dinkier and not really that cool from right here. But when you get inside, it's like, yeah, it's like a portal to another dimension. It's like Doctor Who's, whatchamadilly call it? I can't remember what he calls it. Telephone booth? That's going to drive me nuts now that I can't remember the name of it. Okay, so yeah, that'll be up there. We'll probably do another crop plot up there. We've got our vegetables going, which is fantastic because we, now that we've got our meat and stuff, um, kind of it, it's established with the fishing and everything else. Now we've got our vegetables established with just this one crop plot up here. Uh, how much is the upgrades? Okay, so I'm going to have to start getting into cougar killing pretty soon because for any power solar panels and stuff like that, we're going to need cougars to kill. And I can't move this. I wish I could move the BCU, but he won't let me move it. So I might have to make another one of those. That's not too bad, though. We got quite a bit done. I don't think we've got any more. And eh, we got one more set of nails, but I don't really think I can do anything with it. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at, let's see, what are we going to do? Probably uh, next episode we'll be doing, I'll probably finish off, not that because it takes rope. I need a hammer. Can we do a hammer? We can do a hammer right now. No, we kind of don't need a hammer because I don't need anything to repair. Screw it, let's do a hammer. Uh, we need one more. Of those, 250. Oh, really? For a hammer, we need mass? That's odd. That's very odd. Maybe I should save this cloth for a shotgun. Yeah, I feel like a shotgun is more important. We're going to save it. Okay, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, don't hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do, subscribe. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out with me today, guys. I really appreciate it. I had a good time. We got a lot of technological advances done. We got our fruit and vegetables established. We are kicking the crap out of hardcore because we rock. Anyway, keep gaming. Keep doing it in my night. Have a blast. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. And bye-bye.